Hello everybody, this is Darren Redman from FHT Sports. And one thing you know about FHT Sports, we're really into our local community, stuff we do at Kerry Park. And Chris Cognac, I mean, what a blessing it is to have this man here in Fresno. And uh, he is quarterback, something called Coffee with a Cop. Started in Southern California, it's now all over the world. And today, uh, in Fresno and throughout the nation, is Coffee with a Cop Day. So we wanted to come by, say hello, thank uh, the police officers, the women and men who put their lives on the line every day for us and our community here in Fresno and beyond. So let's listen to what Chris Cognac has to say and Captain Farah, who not only showed up and interacted with the people here, he actually went into the drive-thru and served the public. Good morning, we're here with Chris Cognac and uh, we're talking about coffee with a cop or coffee with a police officer. Walk us through what this is and thank you for doing this. Coffee with a cop uh, is a, a program that takes the barriers away from the police and the citizens. Uh, we started it in 2011 in Hawthorne, California. I'm one of the co-founders. Uh, and now we're in 18 countries and eight languages. That's amazing. Today is uh, Coffee with a Cop Day and there are events in nine countries uh, around the world all 50 states. We'll have several thousand events uh, today, October 3rd. Uh, what it is, is it just removes the barriers. You know, people can talk about anything they want and get to know the police, and, and it humanizes the public and the police. And, and, you know, it started out as a little idea, uh, you know, in Hawthorne, California, at a McDonald's in 2011, and, and it really worked. And so it's a different kind of program. It's not a town hall meeting. It's, it's much more intimate, and uh, it's been amazing and it really makes inroads into the community and with police community relations. Ironically, I'm here in Fresno now for hockey, uh, and so I'm helping these guys out. But well, we have the captain at the drive-thru, right, serving coffee? Yeah, Captain Farrell's working the drive-thru right now. Uh, a couple other Fresno guys from the Northwest District are here uh, mingling. Uh, there's five events in Fresno today. Uh, Fresno Probation had an event uh, over on Peach, uh, and there's tons of, uh, they're probably eight or ten events in the Central Valley today. Excellent. So this went from uh, one place in Southern California to all these different countries. How does that happen? Uh, well, you know, it had its organic momentum. People realized that it was a good thing. Uh, we got contacted by the police in Montreal. Uh, and here's the hockey connection. Uh, Stéphane Jaguer uh, mm -hmm. was one of the officers that contacted me and of the Jaguer hockey family. Uh, and so they started it in uh, French-speaking Canada called Café avec un policier. Uh, it grew in and around Montreal and Quebec and then moved across Canada. Uh, at the same time, the Australians got a hold of me from Sydney. Uh, we showed them how to do it and it is gigantic in Sydney. Uh, there's five events today in New Zealand. Uh, it has recently started in Lithuania and Romania. Uh, the entire nation of Chile participates in it. Uh, India. It's in eight languages, so they're even doing it in the French Alps today, or the Swiss Alps. And after after somebody sees this, going forward, if they want to get involved, how, how can they contact you or the movement? Uh, you know, they're, they're run locally. I, I mean, I, I, myself, and another uh, guy manage the program globally, but the events are locally run. So, you know, we have coffeewithacop.com, which has a lot of events on it, but, but look at your own local police department and see what they're doing. Check their Facebook page out, and if they don't do Coffee with the Cops, send them a message and say, hey, we would like Coffee with a Cop. Well, thank you so much for what you're doing. Sure. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> sure, thanks. It's great. I'm going to go have some more coffee. So we're here with Captain Farah, and, and thank you for allowing us to talk to you today. Hey, glad to do it. Uh, you know, when I came in here, you were in the drive-thru. Yeah. <laughs> talk to us about that. You know, um, that was one of the suggestions that uh, was made to us when we're doing Coffee with a Cop to try to improve our interaction with the public, and that's really what this is all about. Working the drive-thru is fun. Um, it's busy. I have a lot of respect for the fast food workers that do this job. Um, it, it, you surprise people. They're not expecting to see a cop come out the window with their coffee and their food. Uh, so that's a lot of fun, too. Uh, this morning, the grandpa, you know, the big order, like five sandwiches. We had three of his grandsons in the back seat of the car, and I got a chance to say hi to all of them and have some fun. So it, it's a lot of fun. Well, that, that's awesome. And, uh, you know, 
uh, growing up the way I did, uh, with, with, with the neighborhood police officer, and you'd see him a couple times a week, whether at a McDonald's or a Starbucks or. You know, they have Starbucks back then, but yeah. you get the idea. Yeah. It's really nice to see this because you see a lot of smiling faces when people come in here. It, it's been a very positive reaction for us. And uh, it's a it's a non-threatening uh, place where people can just come and ask us whatever they want. Mm -hmm. When we're in the middle of a call for service and we're trying to help somebody with a domestic violence situation or disturbance or referring some kind of neighbor dispute, mm, cooler heads don't prevail. So a chance for folks to just come in and, and grab a cup or something to eat and sit down and chat with us for a little bit. It's awesome for them, it's great for us. Well, I want to uh, say from the Fresno sports community, thank you for what you do. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you for keeping us safe. And uh, you know, there are some alleys that people would not walk down for a, all the money in the world, but you have to do it every day. Well, my guys do a great job. And uh, the ladies and gentlemen that make up this profession, um, after 20 years, got nothing but respect for the work that they do. And uh, it's a privilege to serve in Fresno. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless.